Hello there everyone and welcome back for part 7 of my PV County map factory review and tutorial series where I'll be showing you how to build the factories on this map, the resources needed to build them, and the order that they should be built in. Today we're going to be focusing on the power stations and the electrical system. Okay, let's take a look. Okay guys, I'll start off by telling you that there's four power plants on this map. We have one right over here on the east coast. We have one down to the south right here. We have one over to the west and then we have one to the north. So today we're going to be focusing on the one in the south because all my resources are down here and I actually went ahead and built some of these factories. So the power station to the east is called the American Electric Plant. There's seven factories that this will provide electricity to. The price of this land is $3,409,344. So you will have to purchase the land that the power plant sits on. And the factories that are powered by this is Starbucks, The Racetrack, Aurora Textile, Kellogg's, Corning, Ken's, and Domino Sugar. So seven different factories there. So the power plant over to the west is called Duke Energy Plant. The price of this land is $1,596,672. Now, the factories that this powers is the Cargyle Feed Company, Pepsi, Heinz, Planters, Alcoa, and Starbucks. So not only do you have to buy the property that the power plant sits on, all of these factories and cell points you will have to buy as well. The power company to the north right here is called the PSEG Power Plant. That's going to power 80 of your factories and the piece of land it sits on is going to cost $1,175,040. This powers the Campbells. CM Meat Company, PMS Recycling, Borden Dairy, Lydia's Garden Shop, Copper by Design, Starbucks, and Walmart. So this will provide power to those eight factories. And then finally, we got the one to the south. This is the one we're going to be working on today. This is called the South Power Company. This will power nine different buildings. The piece of property it sits on is going to cost $1,537,632. And the companies it provides power for is Dell Electronics, Starbucks, Frito-Lay, Heartland Bread, Sam Adams, Wolfie's Pizza, Gold Metal Flour, and the Shell Refinery. So as you can see, we have uh, Wolfie's and Samuel Adams built down to the south. And I went ahead and bought the Starbucks right around the corner. So it's not only factories this provides power to, guys. It's some of these cell spots, too. Like you can drop off coffee and probably other things in the Starbucks here. But once you own the property this is on and provide power to it, this will bring you in an income, not instantly. Over time, it'll bring in an income. Come on over to the Southern Power Company. Right on over here. So I purchased this land too. I put a shell station right next door. You're going to have to provide generators to your electrical plant. And depending on the ones you take, you're going to have to fuel them whether it's wood chips, coal, or diesel fuel. The most expensive one takes diesel fuel, so that's why I put the shell station next door. So once you acquire the land and you have your factories ready to go and sell spots, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the shop, then under factory modules right here, here are your generators. So you have a bio module, 25,000, coal module, 250,000, and the diesel module that will cost you a half a million dollars. This is definitely something that'll take time to work on to get this all up and running. But for now, we're going to go with, ahead with the diesel generators. Let's bring it on over here. And you're going to lay them down in the back here. Now, see that rectangle in the back? You're going to want to put that right between those markers. See those little corner markers there? Try to get this as centered as you can, guys, before you lay it down. That way, the triggers won't get mixed up with the next one. So let's put that there. And then we'll go ahead and do it to the next one. So you can put eight down here. So that's going to be $4 million. Like I said, just try to get them as square as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just stay in that marker. We're probably not going to fill these all up, but I'll get them down anyway. Quite expensive. So there is all our modules put down, all eight of them. You'll have to put diesel in these to fire them up. So I have my tanker down below. I'm going to go ahead and open all these gates. I don't know if you have to open them or not or just get close, but we'll do it anyway. So you can see I have 100,000 liters of uh, diesel fuel. And I'm going to go ahead and start filling up the first one. 
I'm not sure exactly how much these take, but I know it'll take the 100,000 each. There we go. Okay, got the trigger down below, so let's go ahead and put that in. While that's filling up, I'm going to show you inside the power plant itself. So I said this looks like death row. <laughs> so each door is for each factory or each cell spot. You're going to have to provide the power to that. So if you come up to the PV sign, press the error button, you can see your power and how much is being provided. And here's all the different factories that will power up. So whatever ones you own, you're going to want to provide power to. But like I said, it's not going to be cheap to do this, guys. It's going to definitely take time and a lot of money. What, what ones do we have here? There's Heartland Bread, Sam Adams Brewery, Wolfie's Pizza, Gold Metal Flower, Shell Refinery, Starbucks, Museum, Dell Electronics, and I'm not sure what that one's for. Okay, off to get more diesel. See if we can get this a little easier. I'm going to see if if I can put another 100,000 liters in there. I'm kind of curious how much that holds. Okay, diesel. So it takes 150,000 liters of diesel fuel. We might as well go ahead and put the other 50,000 in here. So yeah, just buy the generators for the one factories that you have built already. So don't forget, you will have to buy the land the power company is on. You'll have to buy these generators to put down. You'll have to buy the land that your factories are on. And you'll have to provide all the materials to build the factory and then get the factory up and running. So it is a big process, guys. It's definitely not something that you can pick off just in an afternoon. Okay. So we're on the third one here. I'm not going to completely fill them up. Just enough to get them going. I kind of forget which one is for which. But I'll put a little in each. 50,000 liters in each. Okay, so we just have four left. I'm going to go ahead and put some diesel in those. Okay, so it looks like you don't have to open the gates to put the fuel in, guys. Just get close to them. I'm going to go ahead and close the rest of these. Okay, just bring it really close to the side here. We should hit that trigger. There we go. So I'll put 50,000 liters in there and 50,000 liters in that last one. Come around to the power company, go back inside. We'll fast forward time a little bit. And we'll see the power accumulating inside. See them falling in there? You can hear the electricity. Listen. You can see it trickling in there. Okay. So we'll just go till morning here. And we'll stop right there. 8 o'clock. Okay, so you can open these doors too. I wonder if I get electrocuted if I touch these. <laughs> so that's just indicating that you do have power. And this is the Frito Lay Company, which we don't have built. There we go. Heartland Bread. Samuel Adams, we have that. So don't forget, guys, this is all times four. There's four of these power companies you're eventually going to have to get up and running if you want all your factories running. This is just one I'm working on here, the one to the south. Okay. So unfortunately, I don't have anything in my pizzeria to fire it up or uh, Samuel Adams. But you get the idea, guys. That is how you set it up. You can also go over Global Company if you want to check on these from a distance. Just go ahead and press left control and G track down your power company we're in the southern power company southern company right there you can see we got three of the nine so you can see 
Sammy Laddams is active. The ones we haven't built yet or got filled with product are disabled at the moment. Sammy Laddams is active. Make you 20,000 liters of beer an hour. Nice. Active. Wolf, Wolfie's Pizza. Gold Metal Flower. The Shell Refinery. See, some of these are just sell spots that when you drop off the product, it sells over time. But you have to provide the power to them for them to do that. Starbucks. Okay, guys, I figured before I end the episode, we'll take a little tour of Samuel Adams and uh, Wolfie's Pizzeria since I got them built. Very nice size factory here. So the power's all provided to this already. I just got to get all my products in here. Yeast, pallets, honey, pumpkin. There's a lot of stuff here that I don't have ready to go yet. Fill levels. Your loading zone there. There's all kinds of things. You got this nice digital display behind. Hops, wheat, burley, rye, sour gum, water, cranberry, cherry, yeast, pumpkin, honey, and pallet. So this takes a lot of product. You can see your vats over here that you fill up from. That looks fantastic. I really like that. You get the nice Samuel Adams signs on the side of the building in the in the front of the entrance there. So here is Wolfie's Pizzeria. It's a nice looking building too. There's Wolfie's. Okay, let's go on Wolfie's. It looks really cool in here, guys. I hit myself in the head with the door. Yeah, check this out. This looks so cool. Even that menu looks real. Look at that menu. That's probably realistic. That looks like an, a normal menu that you would see. Get some pizza left over here. I'll eat that. <laughs> we got our brick ovens over here. Yeah, this is a really nice uh, factory here. It's huge. And then you got your cool little uh, pop machines over here. Once you provide that, I'd imagine they'll fill up the coolers. You got Cherry Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Pepsi. Very cool. Then you got these little signs over here. Classic sour cream and cheddar. Pepsi products. Uh, see what I mean? That's so cool. Over here we have the different pizzas that are eventually going to be available. You got to get your cheese and your meats down here as well as make your dough. So that is pretty cool indeed. I thought you guys would enjoy that. So there you go guys. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of a better understanding of how the electrical works on this map it's going to cost you a lot of money it's going to take a lot of time to accumulate that money but once you do you're going to bring in a lot of money too so guys if you enjoyed the video maybe you can leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel why don't you go ahead and click on nick right there in the middle of your screen then hit the subscribe button and the bell and i'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel it really helps out so until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.